Hi everyone, I'm Sam from Electric Bikes Brisbane and I am very pleased to be able to walk you through the brand new 2023 Orbea Wild. Um, this is a bike that we've been waiting for with a lot of anticipation and if you've read any of the press, it's a groundbreaker because here we have a full powered Bosch CX motor, big 750 watt hour battery bike in a light frame. So this, is, uh, this bike only weighs around 23 kilos. I haven't actually put it on the scales, but I can pick it up pretty easily. He went for the top of the range model, the M Limited. Uh, it comes in at sub 21 kilos. It is phenomenal. So it's been described as an enduro weapon and one of the best bikes to be released in 2023 of any of the mountain bikes. So I'm going to talk about the platform. There's four models in that, the carbon frame, um, and there's also three models in the alloy frame, um, all running on the same platform. So what is that? It's a, so it's a 29er, uh, 29er through all the models. It runs on Bosch Smart System with the Bosch CX motor, with a slight twist because your top of the range model, the Wild M Limited, has the Bosch CX race motor. Um, the rest of the models run on the Bosch CX, so still 85 Newton meters of torque, phenomenal motor. Because Orbea also offer the, the MYO and the customizations, um, there's a huge amount of options with, um, with each of the models, in fact, and you can really sort of tweak the way you want that bike built um, to suit the way you want to ride it and, and your own geometry and preferences. So they all run on the same motor, but pretty much every model, you've got the choice of the MYO capable bikes, which are the carbon ones. You've got the choice of a 625 watt hour or a 750 watt hour battery why you want one or the other is really down to you but largely it's about range and weight um, save weight with a smaller battery more range with a larger battery depends on the riding that you like to do and whether you're likely to be accessing those really high power levels as well so why is this bike so unusual it's unusual because what Obey have done is they've taken a big Fox 38 fork you know a 170 180 mil capable fork and they've down tuned it to 160 but what they've also done with their revised geometry and the frame design is that they've created a slacker head angle. So you've got a 63 and a half head angle. So you've got a full enduro ready geometry from at the front end and they've shortened the, um, the travel that you can get through the fork. So that's more of an all mountain use. We're seeing that more on the all mountain. So it's kind of, it's a bike which kind of sits in the middle of both. But what's really interesting in terms of what Orbea have done is it's in the, the thinking and the redesign around the geometry of the frame and the kinematics. What they want you to do is be able to do all of it. They've, if you can see here, the beautiful lines through here, just the way that they've positioned that motor with the battery, there's still a huge amount of clearance there. So if you're doing sort of rock gardens and um, roots and things like that, you, you, you've got a lot more clearance, so you're not going to be, um, be striking those. Um, the bottom bracket's raised as well, so again, more ground clearance. And the bikes also come with 160 mil cranks, so quite a short crank. Now, obviously you can change that out if you prefer a longer one, but really the whole point of it is more ground clearance. So let's talk about the suspension. And this is, in this case, this is the M10. It's got a Fox 38 at the front. Um, this is a performance fork, and it's running on Fox Float X at the rear. What Orbea have done is that they've reduced the overall progression, so it's not as leggy. Orbea have tuned the progression with their anti-squat and anti-rise settings, and they've tuned it so that you don't get that bottoming out that you might expect to with a, with a smaller fork. Um, so again, it makes it, makes it enduro ready. Um, you know, big stuff, bring it on. If you're not riding the big stuff, it doesn't really matter. But what you've actually got is you've got a bike that's going to do it all. So let's talk about weight because that's, it's a big game changer in terms of the big full powered bikes. We're seeing uh, some of the, the 750 watt hour um, bikes coming at you know, 26, 27 kilos, which is quite hefty. Um, compare that to a 23 kilo bike, that's, that's quite a big difference. So what Orbea have done is they've taken a lot of the weight out through the frame. Um, so almost a kilo in weight saving just in terms of the way the battery and the, the motor mounts are positioned. So this is not a removable battery. Um, you don't just remove it to charge it. It's actually charging, you charge it on the bike, uh, but you can remove it down through the, the bottom of the motor there. And it's just six bolts. Uh, but it's a bit more uh, effort to remove it. Um, 15 minutes for a tech to do it, 
probably not um, so quick for yourself, but it is removable if you need to, and also if you ever need to change your battery out or carry a second battery. While we're talking about battery charging and um, and some of the, you know, living with the bike, one of the other things that Orbao focused on with the new Wild was just making it a lot easier to maintain and designing things into the bike to prevent things from happening as well. So. Um, with this new model, cables are much, much easier to change. They've got much, much cleaner, straighter lines for cables, so no kinks. They've built in uh, extra protection in different areas just to stop damage from happening um, you know, in the event of a crash. So um, very thoughtful in terms of how you, you live with the bike as well. So similarly, the charge port, a source of complaint in a lot of cases, but um, this is uh, especially designed, it's a pullout, it's very, very well protected and um, it's not going to fall off and importantly, it's, you're going to stop grit and water getting into there if you're ever riding out in the rain too. In terms of appearances and also the way they've used some of the, the Bosch system, the smart system components which are now available, just you can have a look, you can just see that it's a very, very clean bike. It's got a really clean cockpit. What is kind of cool is that they've got this Garmin mount on the top here. The system controller is actually built into the top tube here and they've got the Bosch Mini remote, so just super discreet but also still gives you all the functions that you're used to having when you're riding a, um, a mountain bike out on trail. If you prefer to run with a Bosch display, there's also the option to be able to customise um, a Bosch Kiox display onto this as well if you prefer to have that data front and centre. There's also the option to be able to uh, build in lights to this too, uh, particularly if you want to go through the MYO platform, but they've got the mount points and the ability to be able to, to mount lights. So I, I'm not going to get into the specifics around the geometry because there's some excellent reviews already available about that. The upshot of it all though is that you've got a bike which is a little bit taller, a little bit shorter, very, very playful, very, very comfortable and balanced. Really targeted this bike at experienced riders who really want to push the limits and go fast. And they've developed a bike that's going to be as easy as it can be for you to live with it as well from a maintenance and uh, damage prevention perspective as well. So I'm just going to step through this bike in terms of the, the specs that you can see on it. This is the M10. So there are four carbon models. Um, this is a full carbon frame, rear triangle, whole frame, and then you've got, through the MYO, you've got the ability, if you want more carbon, you've got the ability to add uh, more and take weight out as well if you want. But let's just walk through this bike and how it's specced and I can refer to some of the other bikes and the customization options. So we start at the front. So we've got the big 29er wheels. This is the Aqua rims and the Maxxis Minions. There's the option in MYO to change to Maxxis Assegais if you prefer as well. All the bikes run on four-piston hydraulic disc brakes, as you'd expect. These are Shimano M6120. Uh, you can also go to Shimano XT and XTR with the M Team and the uh, M Limited, and you've got the option through MYO if you prefer those brakes as well. Um, SRAM on the, um, the M20 models and some of the H models. Now the fork, a lot of interesting stuff happening with the fork, um, as I mentioned previously. Fox 38, so big heavy duty fork, um, but tuned to 160, um, but you also have the choice to tune it to 170 if you want to as well. This is Fox 38 float performance. If you want to go full factory, then look at the M Team or the M Limited, uh, Kashima coded too. For the entry uh, carbon model, so the M20, it's running a RockShox fork. Um, if you prefer the alloy frame, a slightly cheaper price, it's still great specs on that bike. That's also running Fox too. So while we're talking on suspension, just have, have a look at the rear suspension. Uh, Fox Float X, really, really good suspension, very, very tunable, and particularly with the way how Orbea have matched that to the overall frame and geometry kinematics that it delivers as well. Okay, so in terms of gearing, they're running a 12-speed gearing system and various uh, levels of the Shimano gears. 12-speed is pretty standard now with, uh, with the e-mountain bikes. On the M10, we're running SLX. You've also got XT and XTR on the, um, the higher spec models. Um, also Shimano Dior on the lower spec models, but all good gearing systems. So moving down, we've got a, a dropper seat post, as you'd expect. Lots and lots of options with the dropper seat post in terms of seat post length. Um, also the ability to upgrade to uh, Fox Factory if you want to as well. Just have a look in, uh, in MYO for all the options there. Um, while we're here, just 
have a look at the beautiful detailing around this linkage, the three, the, you know, the pivot points and just how robust all that is. So in short, if you're a mountain biker and you love your mountain biking, you're the sort of rider who wants to do, or the ability to be able to do a bit of everything. The Orbea Wild in this 2023 model is a bike that can do anything. We're very excited to, to have it here and I'm really looking forward to taking it out for a ride. Um, if you're interested in any information, please head to our website. We have got models coming and with time available still to customise if you want. M10s, H10s, uh, M-teams as well. Give us a call if you've got any questions or um, just send us an email through our contact page. Very happy to help you.